Good morning, everyone, and welcome back for another week of Children's Church. We're so glad to have you back with us for another week. I trust that you've all had a good week and that you're keeping well. I also trust that you're enjoying your summer because we don't have much of that time left. Before we get into today's Children's Church, I just want to give a special shout out to Ryan, Nathaniel, and Sophia. They requested that I say hi. Hi guys! So this week we have another one of your favorite Bible stories. I hear it's Caleb's favorite. It has to do again with a boat and water. Can you guess which story it is? If you know which story it is, put it down in the comment section or send us a note. But before we get into today's story, let's have a time of worship. These are another couple of songs that you guys requested and really enjoy. So I hope you'll get on up and do the actions with us and really get into the songs. This song is called Deep and Wide. Do the actions with us. to do with a boat than water, but there was water involved. Lots and lots, 40 days and 40 nights worth. Can you guess which story it is? Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! 
but in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on Earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on Earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the Earth that would destroy every living thing on Earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, birds, moss, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on Earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the Earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. So what did we learn in today's lesson? First, we learned that it rained 40 days and 40 nights. We also learned that Noah brought every kind of animal into the ark two by two. We also learned that God loves us and will save us from destruction. We also learned that God has power over all creation. And finally, we learned that when we listen to God and do what he tells us, we will be safe, just like Noah and his family. So why don't we pray? I'm going to get you guys to close your eyes and bow your heads and clasp your hands. Dear God, I'm so glad that you have power over everything. Help me every day to listen to you and to do as you say. Thank you for loving me so much and for keeping me safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that story of Noah and the Ark like I did. I wonder what we'll talk about next week. Until then, stay tuned and take care. <laughs>